Hi there from Bug Eye Guys, and come with me today on a tour of the underside of this bug eye called Lawton. I want to talk about the color of this floor pan. That's really the point of this post, but while we're at it, we'll take a quick tour. We have a nice car here that's an excellent restoration. This was done in around 2010, so roughly 12 years old at the time of this video and we've just changed all the hydraulic parts to get this car ready for sale it, it hasn't been moving much lately but you see some interesting features here's that drain hole that i've written about before that's kind of critical for keeping the sediment out of this or you know the rust out of here sediment gets in there and if this doesn't drain you can have some real problems we've put a header on this car as well so that's not stock but it still has a smooth case transmission and it further highlights how these cars are usually some interesting assemblage of modified stuff original stuff like for example we have the original drain on the floor pans here or on this side but no drain here so we know this is a replaced floor pan at some point on the driver's side but it's really well executed it does have this sling hole here and we have the rubber plugs for those so we'll put those in place that is, uh, there's a, a void inside here. You can see the spot wells. This is the foot well, which has an angle on the other side. And this is an air cavity. It's all part of the box structure that strengthens the front of the car. And there's a rubber plug here. It helps to bail with it open, but you don't get moisture in there. So probably nice to keep it covered anyway. And then there's a good slave cylinder. That seems to be the number one wear item on every single Sprite. A little bit larger exhaust pipe than stock. And this one also has a, a louder muffler. This is a muffler we don't use very often because it's a little too long. And uh, for some of our customers, it's a little too loud, but we have lots of muffler choices. And then a good original fuel tank with the drain plug, the original drain plug. So this is a very, very solid car. But now that you've heard that piece, what I actually really wanted to talk to you about was the underside color. So. You see you have these white wheel arches and this nice old English white car. What's the story with this rust colored underside? And I actually met the guy who did this restoration probably 15 years ago, and he was adamant that this was the correct color from the factory for these undersides. And most of the beautifully restored cars like this one, you'll see an all white underside. And that's the way that traditionally people will rotisserie refinish these cars when they do a restoration. So in the case of this particular builder, he wanted to use this color and uh, the jury's still out on this. The Concours standards still say uh, that the car should be painted body color underneath. And that's how we handled car 501, the first bug eye. But there are some people out there that say this is the correct way to restore your car. Now, what's particularly interesting is that you never find them looking this way now 60 years later. There's a lot of overspray. And on a red car, it can be very difficult to tell if this is actually the color underneath all the red overspray. In this case, where you have a white car, we've never seen a survivor that had white top sides with a lot of white oversprayed on this, you would, you would have run, run into this kind of color in the center. It's also weathered and muted. So this is one of those things that if you have photos of your old car with this color, feel free to send them along to us at Bug Eye Guys, and we'll keep trying to get this uh, accurate as we can. And in the meantime, you have a beautiful solid car uh, painted with this, <laughs> this rust coloring. You'll also see it in the trunk that, that we know, the boots were painted with this color. You'll see we did that in 501 and it's painted that way here as well. Thanks for watching today from Bug Eye Guys.